everybody, welcome to Banjo Lemonade. If you're new to the channel, uh, my name's Mandy and I'll teach you everything you'd like to know about old time claw hammer frailing banjo. I want you to go ahead first and hit the subscribe thing down there <laughs> uh, so you won't miss out on any videos. Today's lesson I'm going to talk about some easy exercises to do when you're just starting out and trying to learn trying to teach your right hand where all the strings are. Um, but first what we do, anytime we pick up our banjo to practice, go ahead and tune it, all right? Make sure it's in tune um, because so many little things affect the tuning of your banjo. Temperature, humidity, you know, if you go in and out of buildings, that you need new strings. Because um, your strings, they'll sort of die on you over time and practice. Okay, so here, let's get started here. So you you should already have watched Easy Claw Hammer Banjo Lesson 1. And um, you're familiar with the basic claw hammer stroke. You're familiar with the basic claw hammer stroke. Now, the next step is going to be um, hitting the third string for step one and the fourth string for step one and I call this an alternating stroke so I go from three to four any kind of practicing you do like this is good because um, we can use this a lot in songs when we're changing chords um, to make the song really sound nice uh, just by alternating between the third and the fourth string. Now some chords will use other strings to alternate on, but uh, let's just start with the third and the fourth, okay? Okay, now to the exercises. going to work towards. Now, what I'm doing there is when I hit, I'm doing that alternating third and fourth pattern. When I hit that fourth string for the pattern of the four, I'm doing two different things. The first one I'm doing is called a hammer on. So what we do is we do our three, four, three. When it's time to do the four again, we do a hammer on. So we hit our fourth string, and once we hit it, we hammer it on to the second fret. Then we do the rest of our claw hammer stroke, which is a brush thumb, all right? And I'll go through it slowly again. So three, four, three. Here comes the hammer on. Back to three. practice that until you're pretty good at it all right now let's do another one and this will be in the same format where we're doing three four but when we hit that four we'll change something a little bit and here's what we're going to change when we hit that four we hit it open then we hit it at the second string at the second fret not a hammer on just pressing the second fret so there's the first note the second note and then the third string open so, and then we hit the third string open and we do our brush thumb. So that whole little piece will sound like this. Okay, I'll do that again. Now let's try alternating with the three, four. Now, 
this works on a lot of different things at the same time. Don't worry about what it's doing. Just have fun with it and try uh, to practice these. And once you get into songs and stuff, you'll be throwing both of these in a lot. So it can, it can always be so much fun, you know, to play your banjo. And if you haven't really started with your left hand much yet, this is a great thing to get you started because all you're doing is you're taking your middle finger and you're uh, pressing down at the second fret of the fourth string. And you're either doing that or you're hammering on. So that's all that's happening with the left hand, but it sounds so neat. So um, practice this. Remember, hit subscribe. If you've uh, gotten something out of my lessons and you want to give back, consider joining Patreon. The information is down below. Um, I have tabs there available for everything I do. And I also have tabs for this exercise. Okay, I hope you got something out of that. hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you have a beautiful, glorious day. And I want you to always remember Jesus loves you. Bye-bye.